There is no way a man who understands that he's a child of God talks that you will not say he's proud. There is no way. Because he doesn't know defeat. He doesn't talk defeat. He comes to you, you say, are you sure this will work? He say, why won't it work? He's traveling, you say, have you prayed? Are you sure you'll be safe? He say, I'm the safety of the road. Because I'm there, the jealousy of God is invested. I am the safety of the road. Then you are wondering, why are you so proud? I'm not proud, I know who I am. And when you begin to talk like that, the devil becomes scared of you because he knows, ah, oh, this one has found his identity. In Romans chapter 8, verse 32, he said, if he did not withhold his only son, but gave him freely for us, how can he not with him give us all things? So a child knows that all things God has belongs to him. Some people come to God and say, Lord, please, I need 100,000. It will be a shame for me to ask God for 100,000. You don't ask God based on what you need. You ask God based on what he has. Because all things belong to me. So I come to God and say, Lord, I must be wealthy. If I'm not wealthy, this world will not end. <laughs> when I talk to my friends, sometimes they look at us and they start laughing. I say, if we are not wealthy, this world will not end. We must be wealthy and super wealthy until we can sponsor everything sponsorable. That's because you know you are a child of God. And when you know you are a child of God, you know all things are yours. That's a realm. That's a realm. The problem with the child is that the child doesn't know responsibility. The child only knows possession. And this is why many people, when they come to church, they are only willing to receive like pastor was lamenting a while ago when it's a miracle service everywhere is filled when it's a breakthrough service everywhere is filled but when you say come for vg let's intercede for nigeria then you know those who are children because they will not come when you say today is street evangelism you will know those who are children they will never come but when you say worship service come let's celebrate children get their dancing shoes because it's always about them you know, you give a child biscuit and you ask the child for the biscuit, he hides it. A child only knows how to collect. So in the kingdom of God, the children are in the consumer generation. God can't use them. If the children of God are many, kingdom will not move. That's why the value and the stature of a church is not in the number. The value and the stature of the church is in the sons that the church has. Not the children that the church has. A church of children is not relevant in God's agenda. Even though God loves the church, it's a church of sons that is relevant in God's agenda. Because children are not oriented towards responsibility. They are only oriented towards possession. So when you hear them pray from January to December, it's God, I want this. God, I receive this. God, I take this. God, I have this. And God will give because the fatherhood of God compels God to be super benevolent. But your sonship compels you to be super responsible. So we can't have leaders who are children. The devil will overrun the purposes of God. That's why we don't stop at that level. See what the Bible says about children. It says, I write unto you children, because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. So when you come to the body of Christ today, everybody is excited. We have forgiveness in Christ. We have forgiveness in Christ. So they want to sin and receive forgiveness. They are irresponsible. There is a realm in God where you say, sin shall no longer have dominion over me. You have journeyed from a child to a son. Sin shall no longer have dominion. That's not a child. That's an adult. So sometimes when you ask children, they tell you, how do you mean? Everybody sins. Who told you? When John wrote, he said, I write unto you little children because your sins are forgiven. When he came to fathers, he didn't talk about sin. Fathers don't sin. <laughs> they say nobody is perfect no, you are, you are, you are, it's in the children realm it's in the realm of children that's where so you talk like that because that's your realm in this world there are those who are perfect they have come to maturity they have power over sin that's why God can pick one man send him to a land to take that land and you'll find out 10,000 others. You say, why is God not choosing them? When it comes to kingdom, the equation is not predicated on love. It's predicated on maturity.
So a child understands the finished works of Christ. He knows that according to divine justice, the wrath of God was atoned for by the mercy of God, the grace of God, and the love of God. So he holds on to the love of God. He holds on to the mercy of God. And that's beautiful. And then you come to many conferences we are only teaching about the love of God and the mercy of God. But we don't teach people to take responsibility that there is a place in God where love, mercy, and grace is not only meant for provision, but it's also meant for empowerment to advance kingdom. That's the realm of sons. So when you grow from the realm of a child, you become a son. 